Hey y'all, welcome to 45. Good news. Today, after we finish this, 15 goes into 45 three times. 15 also goes into 128 times. So after today, you'll be three-eighths of the way finished with the entire book. Did you kind of feel that wave of emotion hit you seeing that 40? I, I did too. Yeah, me too. All right, let's do some oldies and then get to some new ones. And let's just go ahead and do a division problem here. You could do the division like this. You know, when you do a division problem with a decimal, you always just put the decimal up there to, you know, make your answer correct. You're going to get just like this, just like always, 5 into 22 is 4. I'm going to do short division. There's 2 left over. So 5 into 25 is 5. There you go. It's 0.45. You can check this if you want to. You can multiply 5 by 0.45, and you should get 2.25 as your answer. That proves that you're right. All right, let's do some of these. 4.2 divided by 3. Exactly the same thing, right? You, 3 into 4.2, and plop your decimal right there. 3 into 4 is 1. I'm just going to do short division for a while, maybe. And I'm going to put my decimal there. And there is 3, excuse me, 1 times 3 is 1 left over there. So 3 into 4 is, excuse me, 12 is 4. There you go. That's all there is to it. Okay. 4.8 divided by 6. By the way, when you see a number <clears throat> that's like less than 6 divided by 6, you should be aware, you, your mind should tell you, oh, 6 t divided by 6 is 1. So this number I'm going to get for an answer is going to be less than 1. So it's kind of handy in case you're ever confused or whatever. So basically, divide this by 6, 4.8. We all know our division tables here that put the point there. 6 and the 48 is 8. There's no need to do anything else and write the. Don't even bother to do that. Make this fast. And by making it fast, you're going to have to know those times tables, right? And division tables. You should know immediately 6 and the 48 is 8. I mean, boom. It should be right in your brain, right on top of your brain. Just write it down. So, all right, let's move to the next one. 0 0.6 divided by 5. And this is weird. Well, this is, I mean, we've already done it a certain way. Just do it exactly the same way. If something works and you have an algorithm, or in other words, a method of doing something, if it works, then you're going to use it again. Okay, don't get tricky with it. All right, same thing. Pop the decimal up there. 5 into 6 goes one time, right? All right. Now this is where you might want to go ahead and do long division or long division. So one times five will be five. You subtract that, and that's going to be one. Now what do you do now? I mean, of course, you add another zero there. 0.6 is the same thing as 0.60, which is the same thing as 0.60. You know, and so on. Well, we note we can knock down the uh, zero here. Five and a ten goes two times evenly. If it works very like that on the decimal in the last one, stop. You're done. Don't. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be thorough and do 2 times 5 is 10. And do, ugh, don't do that stuff. Just be done with it, you know? Move on to the next thing. Get on to your goats. Okay. And the essential oils. All right. Okay. And that's it. So practice set. We're going to do one at a time. That is on page uh, 239. So go ahead and pause it and try A. See what you get. Okay. That's, oh, I just messed it up, didn't I? That's all of my mistake. Go ahead. Man, there's a ton of these things, aren't there? Alrighty. Uh, let's just go A through K, and I'll just knock them out all at once. Okay, so pause it and try it. Go ahead and go A through K. All right. A, basically, you're, what you're doing is you're saying 3.6 divided by 2. Now, they didn't, we, you know, we're just assuming you can look at that. So the perimeter of a square is 6.4 meters. How long is each side? Well, the operation is 6.4 divided by 4, which is 1.6. Okay. 4.5 divided by 3, 1.5. D, make sure you did this correctly. Okay. When you do D, it's 4 into 0 0.6. So um, make sure that is correct. You don't just, it's not going to be 1.5. That goes one time and you add your 0 there. There's 2 left over. 4 into 20 is 5. That's D. E, 0 0.07. Uh, F, G, and H are all very similar. H is pretty funky. That's a kind of a weird one that has a lot of zeros in it. Make sure you do it exactly the right way. 0 0.0002. Uh, I through K are pretty straightforward, I believe. You should have got those right. Any questions on those, uh, keep at it. Look at your solutions manual that tells you how to do it. And uh, I think you'll be okay. So, All right, see you guys next time. Hey, we're three-eighths of the way finished after today.